And now we have another Susan. We have the Palm Beach County Supervisor of Elections. Please welcome Susan Booker. And please help yourself to refreshments while this is going on also. Good evening and thank you so much for having me here. I have a lot of information and none of which you have to all remember because if you have not already received your absentee ballot, we mailed 82,000 absentee ballots on Friday. Here are what they look like. So your ballot is this big piece of cardstock paper. And if you are not receiving an absentee ballot, then starting tomorrow, we're going to mail a sample ballot. Sample ballot looks like this, comes on better paper. And within the body, you will see the actual copy of the ballot that you should expect to receive when you go to vote. And interior, we have all of the information that I'm going to discuss this evening. So Florida is a closed primary state. And in order to become eligible to vote in the presidential preference primary election on March 15th, you must either be a registered Republican or a registered Democrat. We only have two ballots for the presidential preference primary, Republican, and you'll notice that some of the candidates who have formally announced to have suspended or uh, eliminated their campaign are still on our ballot because they have to formally notice the Secretary of State, which has not occurred just yet. So we went to print with our ballot on December 28th. And you only need to register to vote one time in the state of Florida, but every time you move, you must update your address and if you've changed your name or obviously your party, political party affiliation. The deadline to register to vote or to change your political party affiliation is always 29 days before each election cycle. And so the deadline is tomorrow at 5 p.m. So we've been rushing around the county trying to pick up and we did some very good business here today and I just want to say thank you for having us this evening. I think it's very important, I believe strongly, that your vote is your voice. And if you're not participating, then you really don't have any reason to complain about our government. Now, there are three easy ways to vote in the state of Florida. Obviously, one is to go to the polls on election day, and your polling location is always printed on your voter information card, or you can look it up on our website, which is pbcelections.org. I have a newsletter in the back that has all of our contact information. And if you don't want to vote at the polls on election day, then we will be opening up 13 early voting locations, the closest of which is the Boca Raton City Library. We'll open those locations March 5th. They will go until March 13th. They will be open daily between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. And the only thing that you can need to bring is a current picture signature ID, such as your driver's license. You can go to any one of those early voting locations that are geographically distributed throughout Palm Beach County and just present your ID. They will print you a ballot and you can vote. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can request a ballot in the mail. And it currently still is called absentee voting, but there's no restriction on why you are requesting that ballot in the mail. I have the forms tonight to complete a request to get a ballot in the mail. And if you check the box at the top that says all as permitted, your absentee ballot request is valid through two general election cycles. So if you signed up this evening, your absentee ballot request would be valid until 12-31-18, and we would automatically send you a ballot in the mail for every election that you're eligible to vote in. Now, there are acceptable forms of ID. Florida has a very liberal law that's been in place since 2004. It can be your driver's license, a passport, a Florida ID, a neighborhood ID, a military ID, um, a, and if you don't have a picture and a signature all together on one ID, you can present one acceptable form with a picture and one with a signature, and we can use both of those. What my responsibility is as your supervisor of elections is to open the doors as wide as possible and to provide voter education. The reason why we send out the absentee ballots as soon as we possibly can is because nowadays, there are usually websites that you can go and investigate those candidates on. And if you're not getting an absentee ballot, we're going to send you the 
sample ballot so that you can do some investigating because we want you to be educated voters. And so three easy ways to vote. The doors are wide open. Voting has already begun. We started getting absentee ballots back. People got them in the mail. And I was at work today and they were knocking down the doors. We are closed, it's President's Day, but people were dropping off absentee ballots as a very steady clip. I've registered a lot of people here, changed party affiliations, and accepted absentee ballot requests, and I'll stay as long as you will. Thank you so very much for having me. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Susan.